Diana Derrick here. Ra, ra, ra. Good morning. I hope you're fine and well. Popping in to give you a wee bit of decluttering motivation today. It's a new week, uh, a new hope. Uh, good things in store for us this week, I'm sure. I'm going to be showing you, and I had a lot of things that I decluttered uh, last week when I was working in the living room. I'll show you those in a minute, but I'll, I'll tell you which area we're working on this week if you want to join me. That, uh, let me just put down my pom poms. Um, I'm using the, the Fly Lady Zone system, and, and that way it keeps it super simple for me. I don't need to think about it, and I'm getting around all the areas in the house. I'm not kind of getting stuck uh, in, in one place. And in my, um, I've got a, a house management binder, mine is called Cooper Home. Uh, and all these uh, ideas are on my blog down at Denmark.com. I've got a list of cleaning, you know, a cleaning list for the different zones. And I've also got a few ideas of things that you can declutter in the zones. So you want to know which zone are we working right now. We are working Fly Lady Zone 1, uh, which is, as you can see here, uh, the dining room, if you have one of those. It's also the hall. It's also, uh, especially for, for us, it's the uh, garden room where we have our lovebirds, Tweet and Sparky, you probably hear, hear them in the back of my videos. So, so they're there. So, so that's the, the time that I, I work on uh, their room. And also, one more place, even in the rain, don't forget about the entryway to your house. Maybe you come in uh, up some garden steps or maybe you come in through your garage. Just uh, keep that on your radar as well. Anyway, let's get inside because this rain is getting really heavy. Hope you didn't get too wet. So uh, just a few ideas for this zone. Um, what about the hall cupboard? Do you need to look in there? Uh, switch over any seasonal items if you're moving from kind of summer to winter or the opposite. Um, here in, in the dining room, maybe you've also got a china cabinet where, where you keep uh, your, 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 your posh um, things for, for when you have guests. Uh, take a look through there. Uh, table linens, uh, what else? Maybe you also have some uh, bookcases in your dining room. Uh, what about, you know, things like if you have a piano, piano music, uh, all, all those kind of bits and bobs. And also the entry to your house. You know, Halloween, we've just had it. If you carved out pumpkins, uh, don't, don't leave them to rot, to rot on your doorstep. Maybe you want to think about that this week. Uh, taking down the Halloween decorations. Is it something that you enjoyed using? Are you not going to use it again? And remember, all the time, keep on thinking about, are, are you keeping stuff for some kind of fantasy life that you have? Or is it for, for the life that you're living right now? Uh, I've said this before. I'll always kind of keep a fresh eye on things. Uh, as you'll see with what I'm about to show you, you know, our, our kids have uh, grown up. They're, they're no longer playing with toys and games that they used to. So uh, we're, we're just keeping it fresh all the time. So anyway, without further ado, let me show you what I did to clutter last week. Okay, here we go. Well, looky here, we have quite the collection. I actually surprised myself about how many things I could declutter from the, the living room because, as you know, we, we declutter on a regular basis, but I, I think with it also coming up to Christmas, it just gave me that wee uh, kind of motivation to, okay, right, now, now we're going to do it. So anyway, let, let me walk and talk you, you through uh, the decision process. We have... Um, some Danish books, which are mainly like reference books uh, and other things that we're not going to use again, or things that are out of date, uh, or kind of, these are 100 bets you cannot win. Uh, here we have British reference books, things that we're not going to use again, or things that we can find online. And this DIY book, I remember that, uh, that was kind of like from the days before Google, when, when you'd actually have to buy books to to help you to do stuff. Uh, these things, I'm gonna check with my son uh, whether he wants those. Um, the, these are ones that we had from visits to J Japan, but we're gonna pass those on to somebody else. Uh, these are a couple of books that I did enjoy. Uh, actually, this is an Andrea Camilleri. I normally love his books, but this is not one of the Inspector Montabano ones. And I really didn't like this one, so I'm not hanging on to it, even if it is uh, one of my favorite authors. And this one, I've um, done reviews of this book before years ago, but I'm gonna pass that on to somebody else as well. I don't need to hold on to it. And then we've got various uh, kind of 
with kids' books and joke books. I'm going to give those to the uh, ladies in my uh, ladies' club um, because they, uh, a lot of them are English-speaking. They might want those for their kids. And uh, I, Claudius DVDs. Never got around to watching those. I think it was my husband wanted to watch that. We got them from somebody else. Uh, La Rousse Gastronomique. Now, you know what? I've had this book for about, oh, well, at least um, 20 years because I had it when I was uh, living and working in Luxembourg at the Supreme Court of Justice of the European Union. And it is a fantastic book. It's a French, like this is the, the big daddy of, of cooking books. Uh, just with information about dishes and all different types of uh, ingredients. But, you know, much as it's a nice book, I, I'm not going to hold on to it. And I know my friend Bettina, she is going to love that. Uh, she loves cookbooks. And around here, we also have a few games. And remember, wh when you're decluttering stuff like this, always check with the kids, uh, you know, or your significant other, or your husband, or both of them, boom, boom, uh, to see if anybody wants them. And uh, we've got this pack of optical illusion cards that will be going on to my ladies group as well. Uh, and a couple of games. And this is one that we had, I think, a couple of years, but we never really got into. It's called Swish, which is quite funny, you know, with Swish and Swipe. Uh, but that is going as well. So look at that, quite the collection. And you know what? It took about, I would say, 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, go me. I'm, I'm really uh, pleased with what we, uh, what, what we managed to declutter. And... A final note before, because I know you're all kind of uh, champion the bit now and you're ready to get off your uh, buhuki, get off your bottom and, and get in there. Set a timer before you start and I would suggest uh, 10 to 15 minutes, set a timer. And I always say, you know, the, the old school's uh, timer because when you're using your phone, often you kind of, you hear a beep or, the, you know, or, or you go to look, you know, has the timer gone off yet? And, and then we get sucked into, you know, notifications or something uh, more interesting is happening. So I, I like the old fashioned, uh, you know, uh, wind up timers or, or one of these. Set it for 15 minutes and do yourself a favour. Get yourself set up in advance. Have three bags or boxes so that you've got one for the giveaway items, one for uh, recycling, trash, you know, you know, the stuff that nobody else is going to uh, use or love. And the last one will be the items that you've maybe found in one of these areas uh, that need to be picked up and put away. Um, and, and do that. And then one, once you've done your first session of 15 minutes, then take a wee break. And if you're not feeling overwhelmed, you can do another session. But don't do that thing of thinking, oh, you're, you're all fired up to do decluttering. And then you take the whole thing out of the china cabinet. And then three hours later, you're sobbing on the floor thinking, and why, why did you ever start this new feeling overwhelmed? So, so keep it simple, K-I-S-S, -S, uh, keep it simple, sweetie. Uh, have fun in Zone 1, and uh, I shall see you when I see you. So live long and prosper. May the Danish food be with you. Yeah, we've got the candles going, uh, and I'll see you very soon. Okay, bye for now.